share this live video today as a watch party with your friends. We really appreciate it. Be comfortable. Be comfortable to drink. Go to the restroom real fast. Welcome everybody, welcome to today's edition of a infamous Russo Education Live, powered by Facebook Live. If you can hear my voice, let me know in the comments and type in and let us know where you're tuning in from today. We'd love to know what part of the world you're in, and thank you for joining us. If you are new here, type in new in the comments, and we'd love to meet you. And if you are new here, I'd like to personally welcome you myself. I am Curtis Lawrence, Ruzel Education Coordinator and your stream facilitator for today's Ruzel Live. If you'd like a head sheet to chart out the looks we'll be doing today, you can print one here at ruzel.education backslash headsheet dash download. I'm sure you already know you Ruzel fanatics, but be sure to visit us online at www.ruzel.com. And that being said, let's get this show on the road. Type in a warm welcome in the comments too. Mr. Hussein Dean Awada. How are you doing out there today, Hussein? Hello, Curtis. Hello, everyone. My name is Hussein Dean Awada. I've been working in uh, as a barber like in 20 years ago. Uh, I've been educated, educating in three years, and today is an amazing day because today is my first Rusal education, uh, educating online. So uh, I've been a Roosevelt's ambassador since uh, February. So now it's my first education and it's live. So I hope you will, uh, you will enjoy it. I will start with my model here. Today I'm going to go uh, with a, a pompadour, short trim pompadour. And uh, I'm gonna leave all the hair on the front because my model's hair is still short. So I'm starting with wetting the hair. Until, until I see the nature of all of the hair. And I will add a little bit of the grooming tonic to add a little bit stick in the hair because the temple area here, it's like sticking out and he have a very thick hair. So I need to make it a little bit smooth. So we can use grooming tonic in many ways. I go for grooming tonic almost for all my haircuts. Just love the smell 
in the low shine after I blow dry the hair. It's so nice that we in Sweden can still work on models and customers because we still have open, Sweden have still open and we can still cut here, all the saloons still open, all the shops still open. The restaurants have a little bit harsh moment now, but the saloon still working. It's a little bit lower with the customers, but still working as we do shift and part-time, me and my colleagues. And we're trying to do the, the distance between the customers. As you see, I don't have the chair here. We used to have a chair here. We put it sometimes when we have a lot of customers, but we move the other there. So it depends who is working here. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look at the nature implant of the hair to take my guideline. And you see the hair is still short, but it will work fantastic for the pompadour. I will go for a short trim. So all this hair on the side, on the temple, I don't need it. I will just remove bulk. So I will use my trimmer and the comb to create my baseline. And I will keep my comb 90 degrees. You see my comb here? And I will just follow my first cut. And two. And three. That's it. That's my baseline I created now. You see, you need to follow your baseline. Whatever haircut you do, you just need to create the baseline and follow it to the nape area here. When you are done with your baseline and you have to blend the hair, it depends on how short you are going to go. If you are going for a skin fade, then you have to remove a lot of bulk. If you're going for a little bit longer, like a long trim pompadour, then you need to save a lot of hair on the nape area. I'm going for a short trim, not a, not a skin fade, just a short trim. So I have to remove more. And you see my comb is still 90 degrees and I'm always looking for the hand that I'm holding the comb in. So, so I can see the baseline I created and follow to blend. So, and chop, chop. My eyes are always on the baseline and the previous cut. the sideburn my trimmer is set to zero so it's the shortest all the hair trimmers have the same length ish might be a little bit longer or a little bit shorter it depends if you zero gap your trimmer or not but when you remove bulk you have to work with the zero, with the shoulder from the trimmer. You see, 
Now I'm just shaping. Now I'm setting my trimmer to the half. So I can remove a little bit more shoulder on the sideburn because I don't need it. It doesn't have a lot of hair here. So I have to remove a little bit more. Well, I told my model to save his hair from the previous cut because we did a scumbag boogie last time. So the thing is, we scum with the scumbag boogie that on the other other side, I had a razor line here. So the hair still not that long. But when I cut the sides on the temple area and I blend the hair on the top, it won't bother me at all. I don't think so. With the product, I won't be seeing it anymore. You see. So back to this side here. What I like to do is cut the first side and then go to the other side. The nape area I can take later because I want to go more short on the nape. So now I have to blend the hair here because I'm thinking about going a little bit pompadour with flat top. So I have to remove bulk here also on the crown and the top. So what I need to do is to secure the front with taking a section here so I, I can save and secure my front to get the pompadour because I'm not planning to cut anything on the front. Now it depends on, on your client's hair length and thick. If you had much longer hair, then you need to take many sections. I'm not going for many sections here. It might take like two sections only. So what I'm going to do here is taking the section, the first section and looking for my baseline and taking this section, cut it so it blends with the guard line. See, it's only blended, already done with blending it. <laughs> I'm doing the same here. And as I said, the hair is not that long, so I don't need a lot of bulk cut. I will take it later when I blow dry the hair. So now I'm gonna move to the other side and repeat what I did on the first side. Same process following the nature implant on the hair, taking my section here,
who's saying after you take that section, I got a question for you there, buddy. Yes, I hear you. Um, we got Mr. Travis Harmon tuning in from our live YouTube. Travis says, do you find the groom and tonic helps keeping your sections in place? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, thank you for the question. Uh, grooming tonics helps me a lot with the thick hair because it made the thick hair a little bit sticky and it made it a little bit softer. So if you see the hair with the water and the grooming, you can already get a haircut now. <laughs> you see, the grooming tonic does a lot of job. It helps you a lot with the hair, with the thick hair, with the long hair to make the sections and the section stays as it is. So it, it doesn't dry fast like the water. Thank you for that question, Travis. Thank you, Travis. Now, here's my come. Guys, I will be taking questions throughout the entire demo today. So there is a delay between this beautiful thing we call the internet. It's about 30 seconds. So by the time you post it on your telephone, it takes about 30 seconds, 45 seconds for me to see it. I'll try to get to your questions as fast as I possibly can. And you can go ahead and finish there, Hussein. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I just want to do a little house cleaning. Okay, Curtis, thank you. So I'm going to go to the second side and do the same baseline that I did in the start. One. Two. I need a little bit more water. Don't be afraid of water. It's the best product you can use on the hair when you cut. It won't harm your trimmer or your scissor. So just wet the hair when you feel it's dry. So, and I'm going to do the same. Follow my baseline. My comb is still 90 degrees. And still cutting bulk without touching my baseline. Because you need to remove all the hair on the temple area that you don't need and on the sideburn. You can use guards if you prefer it. I like to go free hands, freestyle without guards. Sometimes I use it when I go for a for a skin fade, then I need some guard to fade the last line I created. So it, dep it depends on what you prefer. Guards are good. brown hair like david here is not that sensitive so i can go without guards if it's like a very dark hair and thick hair then you have to go with guards because it's very easy to you to make a line that you don't want so you have to fade more and more i got a question for you hussein yes um stevie ray asked do you prefer to work one side of the head at a time please explain thank you Thank you for your question, Stevie. Yes, Stevie. Thank you for the question. I prefer to do the side, each side, and finish the first side to go to the other one. Because 
I can see the haircut on the first side here. When you look at the, my client here or my model, you see the first side here is almost done with the fading and the other side is still under process. If I have a, a model with, with, with much longer hair and I have to take sections, then you have to take new sections every time you jump to the other side. So I, I do recommend to take the first side and make the, 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 the job done, remove all bulk you need to remove and move to the other side so you can still have your sections. So if you, if you have longer hair, it, it, it will fall down on the other section. So if you're not finished, then you have to take a new section again. We don't use clippers here. So that's maybe the, <laughs> the thing with the not using the clips. Sorry, clips. Many use clips. I don't use it. It may be easier, but I prefer water and uh, grooming tonic. So it dep depends what you prefer. Longer hair, maybe you need more clipper uh, clips, but I don't use it. So that's how I do it here. Thank you for the question. Hope you hope that I help with my answer. So I'm still going to remove here the extra hair that I don't need. And still setting my trimmer to the shortest to the zero. Now I'm gonna set it to to the half. So I can remove more hair. So if you decide to go for a skin fade, then you can just go for a skin fade under the baseline that you created. So the baseline is the base for every haircut we do. We create the baseline and we do everything after it. Is it a skin fade or a long fade or whatever it is, the baseline has to be the first step. And the same way here, I'm going to secure my front by taking a section from the nature implant of the hair. It's very hairy, so you have a very beautiful nature implant. So I'm going here. Like that. And there. Then I'm going to take a section here. You see, there's not a lot of hair to remove, but I'm removing all the weight I don't need. Following my baseline, you see here, if you take the camera closer. My baseline is here. And this is the extra hair that I'm removing. Taking the next section. Just to secure that I don't have weight on my baseline. I used to take from the other side to the previous side here, but he doesn't have long hair here. I will remove it later. So now I'm moving to, to 
the nape area for removing bulk before I go on the crown. I repeat and follow my baseline. You see from the behind, you can see the baseline equals. So I will repeat on the baseline to keep the baseline guiding me for the haircut. Removing and removing. Baseline set, nape area, going short, make a fine shape on the nape area. Still going for a 90 degree. I'm not moving it. my comb a lot. It's the same technique. You see, it's only my trimmer that is moving a lot, and it's not the important thing because the trimmer removes the hair that you prepare for it with your comb. So if you're going in like that, you're going to remove a lot of hair. If you're setting your comb 90, then you're going to remove the same length on the hair. The best thing to do it is to memorize your body. It's your body who's talking to the haircut. If you memorize your body, how you are moving, then you will memorize your trimmer and your comb, and you will remove the same length on the, ha on the haircut. So just think about your comb, think about your arm, how you're moving, and I'm not, you see, just moving up. I'm not doing a lot of show here, trying to do my best to keep the hair length the same. So I can go, so I can do a fine shape and a good haircut. Everything you don't need. Remember, I'm only removing bulk now, and I'm gonna do the haircut later when I blow dry because the hair is so thick, and I need to see what I'm removing later. And if there is some hair that stick out, and I don't want them to do it then I can see them in nature and just remove it with my trimmer or scissors. So now I secured my front the side is short the nape area needs a little bit I'm setting my clipper to to the half making a nice shape on the nape.
I really do love this Babyliss Pro FX because it allows me to cut with wet hair. Not all the trimmers do it. Some trimmers struggle with when the hair is wet. So this one is a monster. It doesn't stop. See fine shape here. Going to the zero. I'm gonna brush a little bit here so you can see. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to remove bulk on the crown by taking my comb and shear. And I'm going to go a little bit horizontally. That. I already blend the hair with my baseline so I only want to remove bulk here so I can blow dry the hair and see how much I need to take more I'm actually following my guide here. You see? Still following the guide. So. Now I'm gonna blow dry and my hair dryer is a little bit noisy. <laughs> Hope it doesn't bother you. Taking my vent brush to make sure that I got air between all the hair. Make sure to clean your client or your model. It's not easy to sit here in one hour, one and a half hour with that with the hair on the face. I'm gonna make the hair clear. the roots down there and make sure that the roots are dry and then I'm going to use my brush to create the volume and stop my hair cut.
We saying we got a question for you, buddy. Yes. Uh, we got somebody wants to know what type of dryer you got there. I know the name of it, but I don't remember. Could you tell us the name of that blow dryer? It's a gun. Curious. Yes, Curtis. Uh, it's a Gamma Professional IQ. It sounds like you are on the airplane, and you know when you sit beside the <laughs> the wings, and they start the airplane, and they're all like. <laughs> The same sound actually but but it's very good uh, i'm very satisfied with it actually because it's very light i tried i tried one of the show it was uh it was quite impressive you know i've used the dyson that's a really good dryer you know i'm babless for days i love my babless tools but that gamma one is definitely uh quite interesting well cortez uh we use babyliss hair dryers we have them here I prefer to use this one because it's it doesn't uh, weight a lot, so it's very light and uh, it's not quiet, but uh, it do the job as you want and it's very light. You don't need to uh, to have a big bag when you are on a education or something. So exactly, that's what I liked about it. It was super yeah. light. It was super powerful yeah. too, and it got the hair dry super fast. So it was a very unique dryer. So that was exactly. Gamma exactly. professional guys, gamma professional. If you're asking questions about the blow dryer, and uh, comparing with the with the Dyson, I did work with the Dyson too. But I I, I feel like the Dyson is is a little bit too short for men's hair because when it comes to the front here, I will show you. Imagine this is the Dyson, and you come to the to the front, and you have to blow dry the front then your hand here will stood on the customer or the client so i prefer uh, the gamma because of the length so oh I good point really good point hussein good yeah. point i didn't realize that man that's a really good one right there i appreciate that thank you Kevin. Blow dry the hair. I'm not styling the hair with one blow dryer. I'm just taking everything to the place I want. Moving to the other side. Well, I've been in this industry in 21 years, and I actually have to say that the Rusal Mama Carrie gave me a tip that I will never forget. I'm very thankful for because I never thought about it. And it, maybe it's ridiculous for a barber, <laughs> 20 years in the industry. When I blow dry the hair, I use my left hand. And I always did it and the both sides. But I always struggle with some clients when it comes to the left area because I had to do like this and maybe take the client's head like this and please look at me, kiss me. <laughs> it's not like that comfortable for, 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 my, for the client. So, when I was blow drying the first time in front of Carrie, uh, she told me, Hussein, look at this. She took the hair dryer and she was like, and started. And I was like, how? How did I miss that in like 20 years? <laughs> so it works, works very good. You just need to practice your left hand if you are right hand and opposite if you're the uh, right hand and you you need to practice your left hand so use both your hands for the hair dry for the blow dry it works extremely good okay. 
blow drying the roof. Make sure it's dry. <clears throat> You see, by adding a little bit of the grooming tonic in the sauce, you got the volume and exactly what you need for the haircut. You see guys, I removed a lot of bulk now. And what I got here, because I secured my front, I didn't touch it because it's already short. I prefer a little bit longer here, but this will work. And you see all the hair on the crown, on the top is already mixed but I need to remove a lot of more bulk here and shape the nape area so I can get rid of all this hair that is standing out. So back to my clipper. Yes, Cortez. Did you need me? No, who's saying that's a mighty fine haircut there, buddy. That is a mighty fine haircut. Thank you. Thank you, Curtis. I will give Let you more. <laughs> everybody give Hussein claps in the in the comments there and let us know if you if you're liking that haircut so far. Let us know in the comments. So the reason why I changed my clipper is It's that this clipper is zero gap. And when it's zero gap, I can take more hair when it's dry. And I can take more hair on the nape area and go for a small, uh, small, a little bit short fade on the side burn. I'm removing all the hair that I don't need to, see, to make sure that I give my model a nice shape on the sides. And on the top. You see the cutting hair is not only cut hair. It's a passion. It's love between you and the hair. So what I'm doing here is I'm going freestyle. I don't need guards. 
I no, don't need anything more than feeling the hair, feeling the haircut, seeing everything in front of me, seeing everything in the head, what I want and what I need to do to get this fine shape. This is what I'm seeing in my head. You look at the other side, it looks good, it looks nice, but I need more, I need more shape. I need to do more art because barbering and hairdressing is art. It's not only cutting hair. So in Sweden, we have still open the saloons still works as usually the country still works everything is still works as it used to be because we have a very big country in Sweden it's a huge country with a small population we have like 10 millions in a country that fits like 150 million. So in Sweden, we live in quarantine before the COVID-19. It's a lot of distance between your job and your home. If you live in another, another place, like me, I have to drive. It's not a lot, but it's like 20 minutes every morning. Some people drive like one and one hour, one and a half hour to the work every day. So it's a huge country it's a, with a low population. That's why Sweden decided to not close. And that's why we can still work. I wish that the whole world and all the barbers can work as they did before because I miss everything on the social media. All the good job they do. Following a lot of barbers and hairdressers, educating people. It's a thing that I really miss. Because it's a lifestyle we have here. We live and breathe here in haircuts. It's actually an amazing day today. It's two good things happened to me. My wife just got her shop in the city because she used to work here in the same shop with the yeah, nails, eyelashes and like a beauty shop. That's why we called HK Beauty and Barber Shop. But now she moved and it's the first day the grand opening was today. She opened the new shop in the city. I'm gonna miss her five years working together. It was amazing five years actually because not a lot of people can work together. Wife and husband. But it works for us. And my first education as as ambassador, Rizal's ambassador. And it's that's a good way to yeah that's a good way to remember your anniversary huh hussein yeah exactly <laughs> that's pretty awesome congratulations to hussein's wife on her new shop thank you thank you thank you from me and kelly so you see guys i'm still removing and making a nice shape
freestyle. It takes for all that is watching. When you go with your trimmer and your customer without a guard or without a, a comb like this, please hold your beef and you will focus a lot more and your, your hand will be more stable because you're not shaking anymore. We got one more question for you there, Hussein. Yes. My lovely partner Demo asks, besides grooming tonic, did your client have any product in his hair or was it clean? Good question, Demo. Thank you, Demo. Nice hearing from you. I really miss you, buddy. Uh, no, actually, my client or my model doesn't have anything in the hair it's only the grooming tonic so he came with the hair dry and he had the caps on him so i just wet the hair and put some grooming tonic in it so he don't have anything in the hair he used to use the mix of the products ruser products then that we will use later but uh, he cleaned the hair because he knows the day today that we're talking about in a few weeks, I guess. Thank you, Demo, for the question. We all miss you, Demo. Hope you're doing good in Canada. Everybody say hi to Demo in Canada. Missing you, buddy. And about the products in the client's hair, we actually never wash the hair, if not the hair is dirty, but no one comes with the hair dirty so uh, they come with the product in the hair and most of uh, our uh, clients use Rusal product so when they come to cut the hair they only come to make a better shape and remove all the hair that grows up so they don't they don't they, they don't come after like six months so he have been here in like two, three weeks. So I just need to make a good shape of him. So when he comes with the product, I see exactly what my, my, my client's uh, hairstyle uh, need. So he style his hair, he comes to us, we just shape it and fix the style. So we just remove the hair that have grown in like two, three or four weeks. By using the the Rusel hair tonic, you can, this is the Rusel hair tonic here. By using this product on the, on the client that comes with the, with the, with the greasy, with the oil-based uh, pomade, you will feel like the hair is getting very smooth and you refresh his, the bottom, the bottom of the hair and you can easily restyle because it will reactivate your product. So he doesn't need a lot of products after the haircut. So you reactivate it. So it's not any problem to come for a haircut when the hair have a lot of products. We actually prefer it. A little bit different between us and hairdressers. They prefer to cut hair with a clean hair. So now I did remove all the hair, all the weight, and I created a shape that I actually like very much. Hope you like it too. And now I will go with my blend shear to blend all the hair and make sure that I remove weight on the top 
and on the sides. And then I will texturize a little bit the front. I'm not gonna remove length, I'm just gonna texturize it. A lot of people or clients tells me when they see the scissor, the, the blending shear. Please don't do this on my hair. And I'm just like, why? Yeah, because where I used to cut my hair, they use it a lot and they are thinning my hair a lot. And I'm just like, it's not a thinning shear, it's a blending shear. So I will use it on you and you will see the result and tell me later if you're satisfied or not. So I really don't like to see barbers or hairdressers that use the scissor inside deep in the hair like this because man's hair is usually short if it's long hair then you can use it a lot like this to, to texturize the hair but the short hair you just need to blend it removing hussein i got a little house cleaning uh yes, does your friend. does your model know a girl named lada Lada says, she's sorry to bother us, but by the way, after Hussein is done, can you please tell the model that his wife has locked herself out of the office and has no keys? <laughs> Cell phone or jacket messenger won't work on the iPad. Okay, my friend. Uh, David, din fru har stängt ut sig i, i kontoret och kan inte ha inga nycklar. Så... De kan komma hit, ni kan komma hit, ni kan få nycklarna här om Lara eller någon, annars så kan vi inte skicka någon till er just nu. Det tar ungefär ja, en halvtimme om hon kan sitta kvar där. Thank you, Curtis. Lara, if you can hear us, I think he got the message and we appreciate you. We don't bother us, don't bother. You didn't mind bothering us one bit. We appreciate it. We hate to have her locked out of her office. <laughs> Yes, so I'm still blending the hair. Until I feel and I see that, uh, that I got the shape that I need. If you please, Kelly. I, I don't know the translation it. here, Hussein, but Lada says T-A-A-A-A-C-K. Okay, it's thank you in Swedish. Okay. Tack. Tuck. There we go. I learned a Swedish word today. Yeah, you, you can Everybody ask, you learned a Swedish word today. Say thank you. Tuck. You can ask Bertus, he can Swedish. If you show them on the top here, please, on the crown. And you show them the side here that I blend the hair. And the other one here that still have hair to blend. You can see the difference. Sorry for my English. <laughs> it's not that perfect. I think your English is really good, Hussein. Thank you, Curtis. I'm more comfortable now, actually. A little bit nervous in the start. We're all a little nervous at the start, man. If you go back and look at some of these first lives that I produced, they're really bad. So everybody, it's an amazing feeling that I know that a lot of people are watching me from the whole world cutting hair it was actually one of my dreams i did a lot of, a lot of classes in sweden but 
this feels different because I know that there is a lot of very good barbers there watching me now cutting hair and it makes me very proud of myself and proud of everything we've done here to get to this point. So this is a very, very big thank to Ruzel for giving me this opportunity. So, just texter texturizing a little bit. Don't go deep because it will cut your fingers. So go for the tops. And you don't want to lose length on the front just want to texturize it and blend it feel good david yes so this bothers a little bit i know Drying the hair a little bit. So guys, I'm gonna show you two different products in the same haircut. After I finish my hair. Well, that brings us into our next question from demo. What would your finishing product be on your client and why? Okay. Uh, what I decided to do is to show you two different products. Well, I showed you first uh, the grooming tonic that I love to work with. It's for the start. And then I'm going to show you, I'm going to style the hair with the new product that is a grooming cream a very light product low shine very smooth works for all different hair types it will works perfectly for those who who used to wake early in the morning and don't have time to style the hair. They just need to grab a little bit of it and just like bam in the hair and out. That's perfectly so you don't need to blow dry the hair. You don't need to, to prepare the hair for the for, 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 for the style. And it works perfectly for, as I said, all kinds of hair. It's like the thick, the thin, the, 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 the long hair, a lot of women use the hair that the, the product my wife used the product when she needs some product in the hair so she used it uh, on the top so she so she can get a little bit more a little bit sticky and a little bit shiny so it's very low shine it's natural look i'm gonna use it on his hair and then after i'm gonna go for the other product so i so you can see uh, two different products in the same haircut Finishing what I didn't finish in the stock. With my zero gap trimmer.
it's bothering me. Now I'm going to my edge so I can add <clears throat> gonna add some fine lines here. Well, he's not that hairy, so I don't need to go with the razor. It's enough with the edge. the haircut is done but if you like to add a skin fade to it a low skin fade just go for it so it it's what you like to add to your haircut and what your client prefer I'm not going to do a skin fade on David here because we don't have that time. But I'm happy with the result. It's actually the first time I go for a short trim pompadour on David. And he's a punk actually. He has a band. <laughs> he sings. I like his songs. used to go for uh, the last two years scumbag boogie yeah 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 what do you think guys i really love it i hope you love it too Now I'm going for the product. Not taking a lot. This feels enough. If I need more, then I can take a little bit more. It's always good to take a little bit in the start. And if you need more, you can take later. If you take a lot directly, then you maybe regret because you don't need the whole hair to be full with product. Yes, a little bit more. Work it in the hair. Work it, work it, work it. Give him a massage. He likes the feeling. Make sure that you have the product in the hair. And now go for your magic comb. You can play with it. You see why I left the front long and didn't cut anything, only texturize it a little bit because you can do a lot 
with the hair when you have the front long. Little bit rockabilly. Johnny Bravo. You see what I mean? Light hold, low shine, very smooth and water-based so you can play with the, your hair the whole day. If you sit in the office or driving the car, you can always like take your hands in your hair without bothering anything. Awesome job, Hussein. Thank you. Everybody, everybody think Hussein in the comments for that fabulous haircut he did. That's excellent right there. Can we get an all around? Can you get all around? Let's give us an all around shot. That is one beautiful haircut. Great job, Hussein. Thank you. Curtis. Thank you for I'm your gonna, knowledge, man. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'm going to add the next product now. So that's how the hair looks like when you add the grooming cream, natural. But I need more. more. More product in the hair. I really want to give him a hair cut up. He can take good pictures tonight. He promised me to do it because he's a photographer too. So his wife that is stuck in, in the office <laughs> will take some pictures on him and send me the picture. Yeah. So what I'm going to go now is the extreme hold matte pomade that I really love and one of the latest products that Rusel came with. It smells amazing. It has the the room fragrance and it's water based. Actually it gives you like 80% of the pink oil-based pomade. The same way you work with the pink one, you can work with the extreme hole, with the gray one. But this is more matte that's why it's extreme hold matte pomade called so what i do and used to do when i use this product i mix it with the oil based the pink one the medium shine so i can add a little bit more sticky, greasy, shiny sides. And it helps you a lot with, with the shape, you see. And it will be actually easier for him to wash it out. So when you mix it, when you mix the oil based, made with the extreme hold it will be much easier to wash it off when I have longer hair I use only the <laughs> the pink one the oil based and I don't care if I can wash it off or not because I love it I love the smell I love the the hold, the heavy hold it have. The day after I use the hair tonic and I will reactivate my pomade. So I don't care if I can wash it out or not. And my wife doesn't complain about the pillow 
because she loves my hair. <laughs> Just gonna come through the the hair the product to make sure that the product is in the hair so you see you can do a lot of things with the Rusa product. You can do magic. The most important thing is not the product, it's that the haircut is good. A good haircut don't need a product. You will only add the shiny and the extra hold. But when you have a great haircut, a good haircut, and you add a good product, you will get an amazing haircut, amazing portrait. And last the whole night. So you see a little bit flatness here. That what I made sure that I want. I got a little bit flat top with a pompadour with a short trim, a good shape. Awesome job. So thank you, Curtis. Hope you guys did like it. That's a fabulous haircut. Guys, we want to thank you for tuning in today. We want to thank you, Hussein, for taking your time out of your shop today. And which brings me to Monday. Monday, I have Mr. Matt Fleetwood. Matt Fleetwood is an instructor at Sid Sojourn Academy and also a Rusal Scum Ambassador. He'll be joining us Monday, May 4th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m. Central European Time. And with that saying, guys, we want to thank you again for tuning in. We greatly appreciate you and have a great weekend. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Curtis. Hope you.